Um, I suppose, uh, just to come in on this, you know, if there is no declara declaration, then people are able to accrue their time um, to build towards their legal rights in the accommodation. Um, I suppose I've heard a lot through the debate today, um, just about, you know, tenants, and it seems to be that we're, we're positioning this argument in a way where somehow that, you know, we don't understand what it is like to be a tenant. You know, as a tenant myself, for many, many, many years, I know what it's like when you're asked to leave your accommodation. I know what it's like when you're told that because of the amount of years you're in a place, you have now X number of months to go find somewhere else to live. I know what it's like when the bank comes in and takes over a place and uh, suddenly the landlord is no longer there to, to allow you to stay in the accommodation. Um, from working in Galway County Council, I also see the opportunities that are there for people to try and benefit from HAP. But a lot of this, you know, what we're doing here and what I welcome it in seeing what's been done here is that we're extending the period for people who are affected by COVID that they will have until the 21st, um, of, or sorry, the 10th of January 2021, um, so that they can make a declaration if they've been impacted by COVID, that they will not be evicted, that they will not have to move their location or their residence, and that they, their rent cannot be increased. This is only a good thing. This can only be a good thing for right now. It's a measure that's there to improve the, the, the very precarious nature of tenancies across the country. And for what, you know, we're all, we've all experienced that. And I suppose I just want to say that I very much welcome it. I think that it is something, it's, it's good to get the clarification that the, that the months there will accrue towards a person if they haven't made a declaration in relation to COVID. Thanks very much, Minister.